How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I want to talk about how to grind multiple programs at the same time uh, using the signature team moments as well as using the eighth inning program. You're going to allow yourself to not only complete the signature team moments if you haven't done so already, but you're going to be able to get program stars for the eighth inning program as well as the sixth inning program or the seventh. So I want to talk about how to do that. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and go into some signature teams. These moments uh, link up with the seventh inning program. So as I complete this moment, I'll earn eight program stars or six to eight program stars for the seventh inning in order to unlock the, uh, the voucher for the signature series pack. I'm at about 561 program stars. And I wanted to just talk a little bit about how to go ahead and get program stars for multiple things at the same time. So as you can see, I was at 90 in the eighth inning. So that six inning game got me two program stars and then an eight program star boost towards the seventh inning program. So that's just a quick way on how to do that. For the remainder of the video, I am going to have some tips and tricks on how to complete the eighth inning moments. I was able to go ahead and do so after completing the conquest missions. I'm at 161 program stars. I do have a couple of daily missions as well. But if I do go ahead and complete all of the, uh, I guess, the eighth inning boss moments, then you will be able to get around 240 program stars, and that will allow you to reach the uh, 300 program stars after the 15 event wins. So I wanted to just provide a nice example. In this first moment, you have to uh, tally 14 bases with your Diamond Dynasty team. Now you don't have to finish the entire game. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean right here. I pinch hit Frank Thomas for Tony Gwynn to start it off, hit a home run, hit another home run with Lou Gehrig. So we already have eight bases out of the way. Here's a third home run for 12 total bases. And then now I'm only two total bases away from completing the moment. I don't even have to pitch in this one if I am able to hit a double. With Ty Cobb, I'm going to go ahead and pinch hit Andre Dawson for him, though, because just because of the lefty matchup, I want to try and power swing on most of these moments that are on the lower difficulties just to get the higher exit velocity as well as uh, score the ball up, hit some home runs, hit some no-doubters, and right there I just needed a double. So I was able to complete this moment on the first try, a lot of these moments on the first try. So... That's the first one. Then the next one is tally a one win. Do not give up a run. That's pretty easy. The following mission after that is tally three consecutive hits in three plate appearances using Rod Carew, George Brett, and Tony Gwynn. Three really good lefty hitters that all have around the same swing. They all have that quick, compact, one-handed swing from the left side. So if you are able to get a couple pitches over the middle of the plate, this shouldn't be too difficult. It's on veteran. I went ahead and regular swung on all of these hits, but for the most part, if I'm trying for extra bases or I'm using a power hitter, I'm going to go ahead and power swing. But with some of these contact guys just trying to get three hits in a row, there's no need to power swing. You don't need an extra base hit. You just need to uh, get a couple knocks and I mean, I even ran myself out of the inning. This is just a habit of trying to grind out the moments as fast as possible. A lot of the signature team moments and, and stuff like that, I, I randomly get myself out after scoring a couple runs. But anyway, I was able to complete the mission. Uh, the following mission, you have to come back or walk the game off with your Diamond Dynasty team. Lou Gehrig hits a home run there in order for me to win that one. So I wanted to quickly just go through a lot of these missions, some highlights of that. The next one is striking out Johnny Bench. This one was actually a little bit more challenging for me. It took me a few tries. I was able to strike him out because you are facing him with a lefty in Vita Blue. But the next mission was pretty easy. Just win one game against the Cubs. Do not give up two home runs. That's pretty simple. Uh, the next one after that is come from behind, down three runs. You have the bases loaded and your four hitter up. So you can kind of build your lineup that way. I started off the game with the base hit from Rogers Hornsby, got Ty Cobb up, and walked it off. So we unlocked the second part of these moments, as you can see right there. And completing all of these should give us around 240, 250 program stars. And then, of course, beating 10 or winning 10 games online gives you another 30, as well as winning 15 event wins gives you another 30. So right then and there, you will be able to complete it. That's how people have already been able to complete it, as well as grinding uh, for multiple days before the program actually came out, trying to prepare to get that Ted Williams or whoever boss they selected. 
whichever one and sell them for a lot of stubs on the market but this one with ernie banks is pretty easy you have to tally 10 total bases in one game very similar mission to the moments extreme mission with honus wagner however this card has a little bit more power than honus wagner and it's on an easier difficulty so you're just going to want to wait for a pitch over the middle go ahead and power swing and I power swung on all three of these hits. I hit two home runs and an extra base hit, a double, over the right fielder's head. And if this guy didn't run, then obviously I wouldn't have been able to complete the mission. You're player locked, so you're not able to control uh, the other guys. But I was able to get to 206 program stars by completing those moments. Got the 200 uh, choice pack here. And I will open up some packs here at the end of this video. But I wanted to provide uh, these examples for you guys. Hopefully this helps you grind out these moments if you haven't done so already if you already have then maybe in the future it will help you kind of prepare for another program or it will help you grind out something else you just put the video on in the background or whatever but uh johnny bench you have to hit a couple home runs with him one in particular in this moment and then one in another moment but uh in between that one ernie banks has to uh tally three hits and including an extra base hit so that one's pretty simple it's a one game mission and your player locked as ernie banks as well facing the reds team so luis castillo on the mound try and uh, hit one home run early on in the game hopefully in your first at bat or try and hit a double early on you have that huge wall scoreboard out in left field so you can hit a double off that and uh complete the mission so three hits and an extra base hit there it is that's going to get a couple more program stars. And the whole idea of this video basically is if you haven't been able to complete some of those daily missions and you still have some of those signature team missions available, then you're just going to want to complete those rather than hopping into an online game or something. You can also just, I could also just grind out the signature team moments, get two program stars here and there and unlock the boss that way. That way I can earn multiple signature series players at one time. But uh, if you want to get the program done as quickly as possible, the events are definitely the way to go. I'm going to do both methods. I'm going to finish off the program with the events, and then I'm going to try and make World Series, and then also finish the signature team moments so I can get that Vladimir Guerrero Sr., as well as the Ron Guidry and the Adrian Gonzalez. But uh, these last few moments were pretty easy. I mean, tallying... Uh, total bases with ted williams i actually got out in the first two at bats i was able to get multiple at bats in this game this is, this is the fifth at bat right here after hitting two home runs i'm going to follow it up with an extra base hit that i got pretty lucky as well the center fielder missed the ball there and i was able to get an, an extra base and get to third base for the extra total base making it 15 or something like that but anyway actually 11 so 10 total bases there with ted williams but uh, the next mission I tried to do was also with Ted Williams. I tried to use the player lock missions back to back. You don't have to play these in any specific order. But I was able to get the nine hits and the home run. I started off the game with the home run. That was actually the second home run in that string. But as you can see, I was able to complete all of the moments. I got to 249 program stars. And that's more than enough to... Uh, get those event wins, unlock the 300 program stars, and then even grind out the signature team moments, trying to get more stars for all types of programs, for the signature series pack, really for both of the programs. And then you also can unlock a signature series pack by completing that event. So I think that that's pretty cool, multiple signature series packs to unlock. I need about 10 more signature series players to, in order to unlock uh, or get closer to Honus Wagner. So I'm going to try and do that. That's why I'm talking about this. That's why I'm making this video as well. Help you guys accumulate as many players as you can. Uh, if you're on a budget, if you're no money spent, I know there's a stub sale going on. So if you are able to get this program finished, sell the boss during the sale, you'll be able to make more stubs that way. Uh, this Edwin Encarnacion, I went ahead and sold, put him up on the market for I think it was 49,000 stubs. I'm going to show you guys right here. And uh, I think that that's a pretty good price. For a 200 program star boss, I think that uh, 50,000 stubs is definitely solid. I thought that he played third base initially, but his secondary is third, which I would not recommend using him there. But uh, only a few of them available on the market. I feel like a lot more people are going to be able to complete this program 
as the next day goes on. But Ted Williams is selling for 475,000 stubs. Uh, that's a little bit less than Chipper Jones, but still, I mean, the same amount for a World Series reward, that's pretty dang good. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. That's how to get as many program stars as possible, completing the moments uh, and grinding out multiple programs. Until next time, peace out.